Hi there, it's Fabio here, your English teacher. Today's video is going to be about nonverb agreement. But what is nonverb agreement? Well, it's when the verb agrees with the subject noun. For example, singular nouns are followed by singular verbs, whilst plural nouns take plural verbs. That sounds easy, doesn't it? Uncountable nouns always take singular verbs. But I'm pretty sure you already know that, don't you? This video is about exceptions to the rules I've just mentioned. Here's an example. £200,000 is a lot of money for a small terraced house. £200,000 is a plural subject, but the verb is singular. This is because we're thinking of £200,000 as an amount, as a unit. 10 kilometers is a long distance to walk. We're thinking of 10 kilometers as a measurement. Let's have a look at another example. Fish and chips were brought to our table after 30 minutes. Fish and chips is the most famous dish in the UK. In the first example, we're thinking of fish and chips as two separate items, while in the second example, fish and chips expresses a singular idea, in our case, a famous British dish. Also, plural titles of books or films are always followed by singular verbs. For example, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is a very funny film. Especially in British English, there are singular nouns that sometimes take plural verbs. These are called collective nouns. Collective nouns refer to a group or a collection of items. For example, my family is a bit crazy sometimes, or my family are totally crazy. So what's the difference between the first and the second example? Well, it depends on whether we want to think of my family as a group or each individual member of my family. Here are some collective nouns that can be either singular or plural. Audience, team, class, company, family, government, group, Cambridge University, Arthur Bank and companies' names in general. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.